Welcome to Fly or Die. I'm Eric Schoenfeld. And I'm John Biggs. And today we're going to look at the Nokia Lumia. 710 and the Maizu MX. This is phone day. Phone day. Two new phones. This is a Windows phone. This is a brand new Windows phone on T-Mobile. Uh, runs Windows phone Mango, which is 7.5. All Mango. the latest and greatest. It's called the Lumia 710. I love Mango. 50 bucks. 50 with bucks. With two-year contract. That's not bad. Have I sold you? Well, so just a little comparison here. Here's a $500-ish iPhone 4S, and there's your $50 Lumia Windows phone. So we can run through some of these apps. There are about, about 50,000 apps for this right now. Uh, you have, for example, all your GPS apps. You have Xbox Live, mm -hmm. so you can connect your Xbox. You can see all your friends on Xbox. You have an Xbox Control as well that works with the new Xbox Oh, interface. you can control your, your Xbox mm -hmm. with that. Okay. And you have inbuilt contact control. So you basically have Facebook, Twitter, everything is going to show up with your con on your contacts. Uh, you just That's turn the camera. on the, yeah, we just turn yeah. on the camera. And then they have the people. I love these transitions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, if I'm looking to buy a feature phone, a $50 feature phone, uh, and looking at a traditional candy bar phone or a flip phone versus a fully functioning smartphone, I think it's a no-brainer. I would buy one of these. So Nokia knows the low end. They know commodity. They can sell a million phones to a million people in, in a day. I think, I think they once said they, they sold like 100,000 mm -hmm. phones a second. This is their play into a market that is relatively untapped by a lot of, a lot of iPhones. These are, the, right. these are the gamers. These are the guys who anything but iPhone and anything but Android. And I think a lot of the low-end feature phones, a lot of the $50 phones, a lot of the $100 mm -hmm. phones have, are going to get a run for their money with this, these things. I'm, I'm giving it a fly. I think it's a really smart strategy. It's an entry strategy for, uh, again, a re-entry strategy for Microsoft and Nokia in the smartphone market in the U.S. You still have this vast pool of, uh, of cell phone users who don't have smartphones. And quite frankly, it can't really go, they can't really go up against the higher-end Androids and, and the iPhone. So why not try and, and get the untapped market, which sure. is the lower end? Yeah, I'm giving it a fly as well. I think, I think this is a great... Great move by Nokia and a great move by Microsoft. But with the caveat that the apps have to get better. All right. And there has to be original apps. And I think that'll come. If, if they can sell millions of these, app, the app developers will come. All right, send an send a email to Microsoft. I will send an email. Okay. Next up, we have the Maizu MX. Now, this is a Chinese-only phone right now. It may come over here. Mm -hmm. The thing that I wanted to show everyone, this is the only thing that, well, this is the thing that kind of gets me This excited. is an Android phone. This is an Android phone. Mm -hmm. But all the apps are actually on the front screen. There's no apps page. Uh, you have all these different things. You have these crazy little buttons down here that actually light up. The design is fairly familiar if, you're, uh, if you've seen a phone. Looks uh, kind of like an old iPhone 3GS, but with a white back. This thing is selling like hotcakes over in Asia. Oh, really? And they're trying to move it over to here. What, do, do you think they should? My initial reaction to that? Yeah. Chinese knockoff. Chinese knockoff? Yeah, I'm giving it a die. See, I mean, uh, I think it'll do well in China, but uh, I don't think it has a chance here, if I, it ever comes here. I'm fairly excited about it. Is it even going to come here? Of, it will eventually. I'm fairly excited about it in terms of user interface, in terms of design. Because of the it's, folders? I mean, really? That's, that's pretty cool stuff. You've got folders. You just get one of these. <laughs> there you go. Here's your iPhone 4S. You can put apps in as many folders as you want. Sadly, I would tend to agree with you. I'm going to give it a die in the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. I think in China, they're they're really excited about it. They lined up for this thing. They're lining up for that. Maizu MX. I've, I, have, I haven't been able to figure out what to say about it, so I wanted to bring it on. I want to see what you You know, thought. you can buy these in China now. Oh, all right. So we'll yeah. try that. We'll go for that. All right. So that was uh, our phone episode of Flyer Die. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.